about the importance of spiritual discipline um, and what's particularly stood out is how God wants to speak to us and wants to have a relationship with us. So something which I really liked was the um, meditation over God's Word and going through like a load of verses kind of all together and then slowly and really taking it in. That way it's been really helpful for me. In Vox we've learned Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, you, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God has been teaching me uh, that he is the greatest treasure amongst all the other gifts that he gives us, um, and he's been encouraging me to pursue him more through spiritual disciplines. Beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. One of the sessions we did on silence a little while ago, we were given, uh, given the talk and then uh, had the opportunity to just spend 20 minutes alone somewhere in the church and just use that time to be silent and, and talk to God. And I thought at first it would be kind of too long, um, it was kind of a bit daunting, but I found that I had um, endless things to say um, to God and it was just really encouraging to think how many hours I could just spend talking to God. Um, that was a real encouragement this time. God has shown me that um, recently that I am actually loved by other people. So we've been doing um, paintings and things. So mind painting kind of shows um, that even in the mess um, of life, God has a plan for us. So that's why it looks a bit messy, but God is there with us. Um, mind shows that I am God's little child. So this, this term at Rooted, we've been looking at spiritual disciplines. I think one of my favorite nights was the prayer night. It's really nice, it was kind of reflection based. It was it's good to kind of stop from life for a minute and kind of look back. I think that's been really useful as well with exams happening, because we've had loads of people have had exams this term. But it's kind of been nice to kind of de-stress. We've had stressless Sundays as well, which has been fantastic. And yeah, it's been really good to kind of slow down the pace of life for a while and get back to God. It's been really good. We also did one on like quiet times, so like reading a Bible and praying, and I found that really important and like really helpful to think about how you need to find a way that really works for you. So I found that like reading a passage, meditating on that, and then worshiping like like singing or whatever, um, is a way in which I can really um, get to know um, God better and really um, yeah. God. So God has helped me to realise that um, in every person there's um, there's good. He's helped me see the good in people, and um, also he's um, made it so that I've got more time to pray, and he's been helping me with my revision for exams. Same here. So in my life right now, there's not really anything radical that I guess God has done, but it's kind of the little things. So um, I've just done my GCSEs, and I had prom like a couple of days ago, and it's like all the way through it. Everything's just been going smoothly and I find that like just like in the background God is always there even if he's not like fully like kind of in your face kind of thing which he never really is he's just kind of there like in the Holy Spirit and um, kind of watching over me and um, yeah that's kind of what I've learned that God is always with me even though he's not explicitly there he's kind of there next to me like right here. <laughs> <laughs> Last year I went to Keswick and at the we were put in groups yeah. and at the start um, he had a picture of a football pitch and he said are you spectating it so like watching over Christianity or are you playing on the pitch um, yeah being a Christian or are you like just about to go on so um, I, at the start of the week I was offside and then at the end which is now I am now playing on the pitch.